Right here in the valley at a time when Arizona is dealing with a drought. A new water bottling facility in Phoenix owned by Nestle is slated to start production in the next few months. Here's the deal. The plant is bringing all kinds of new jobs with it, but it's also stirring up some debate along the way. Here's ABC 15's John Patrick. The Nestle water bottling facility plans on using 35 million gallons of treated City of Phoenix tap water to fill about 260 million of these. And that's in its first year alone. The plastic and water consumption has environmentalists questioning that's worth the new jobs. When it hits full capacity, the Nestle bottling facility will employ around 40 people. But to Sandy Barr with the Sierra Club, this is the type of industry Arizona should be staying away from. Obviously, we need to be thinking about a, a sustainable economy and a sustainable economy in the Sonoran Desert needs to be one that is less focused on intensive water use. According to Nestle's Alex Dunn, this facility is about being more sustainable, stating bottling water locally decreases the carbon emission footprint of shipping water. In addition, we are able to contribute to Arizona's economy by basing our bottling facilities in the state. The city of Phoenix plans on supplying Nestle with that 35 million gallons from the Salt and Verde River, a supply that the city currently only uses half of. Sarah Porter, director of the Kyle Center for Water Policy, says there are businesses already here in the valley, like soda and data storage companies, that use more water than the Nestle facility will. And there's no policy on how they can use the water that they pay for. If we want to start worrying about how much water uh, different businesses use, and I think we shouldn't be selective. Production for Nestle's Ready Fresh brand will start in the new facility this year. Water bottling for Nestle's Pure Life brand will begin in 2019. John Patrick, ABC 15, Arizona.